infection and imperfection is something I've never had to think about. I suppose it's because I've never had people pointing them out to me. But what I call perfect is different to what everybody else does. Perfect is having friends who are there for you and trust you. Perfect is having a family who love and support you. Perfect is having a place I can call home. Perfect is being able to call my pet's name and then come running over to me like I've only been on a year, but I've only been on an hour. Perfect is galloping for an open field. Perfect is being free to try whatever you desire. Why do people think that looking a certain way is perfect? Why are people always trying to impress others? Surely, if they love you or they're your friends, they'll accept you for who you are, for being you. Why can't people see that looks just aren't everything? For me, imperfections are people's behaviours. People who think they can talk to people whoever they like. People who think they can swear in front of people they're meant to respect. Disrespecting family. And being called to animals who just want to be loved but helpless. Imperfections are monsters that live inside us, but they come out to be the most controlled. Imperfection, beauty, and what do these words mean to me? Nothing. Society today gives a little room to be who we are, unless we're already a size zero and beauty room with perfect everything. We're constantly surrounded by this image of perfect. If you believe you're different to this image, you consider yourself imperfect or different. But those differences make you who you are. They make you unique. I used to care about what people thought of me. If they said that I was wearing too much makeup, it would affect me. If they said that my teeth were weird, I would smile less and cover my mouth more. If they said that my hair was too thin, then I'd put it up to hide it. But why should I? Why should I change myself for anywhere else? So, if I want to wear makeup, I should be allowed to wear makeup. If I'm smiling, that means I'm happy and I shouldn't hide that. So, uniqueness is beauty and everyone has that. Imperfection to me is something that isn't seen as perfect because of someone's opinion, based on other people's opinions or social media. Social media makes us not see the perfect things in people or objects because they're pointed out by these so-called people. We follow it. And things like pregnancy are just, they cause imperfections, but they're natural to your body. They're not imperfect, they're natural occurrences and they tell stories to the world. You should embrace it. It makes you beautiful and it makes you you. Beauty. It makes us it makes us, us. And things that aren't classed as beautiful are in other people's eyes. Things such as flawless figures and perfect skin, they're just they're not real. And imperfections are just allusions to cold hearted and basic souls. They can't see the, the perfect things in people. Our imperfections are stories, so we should tell them to the world and stop hiding them. You can see all the bones in my body. How long have I been like this? They must think I'm a stick. Women consider men to be strong and, and big, but what do they think me like? Like some kind of stick that they can just snap? These are things I see every day of my life. Every time I look in the mirror, I see what's wrong with me. Sometimes, I can't even change in front of people. But you know what? That doesn't change me. Because there's still things I like about myself, and there'll always be someone that thinks my imperfections are perfect. I sometimes live in somewhere in the head. I'm stubborn, I'm angry, I'm upset. And like a lot of people, I have imperfections, and I am imperfect. In a lot of ways, this helps me stay grounded and not see myself as a perfect human when I know I am not in any way, shape or form. Imperfections are something that always lower people's confidence, emotionally and physically. Yes, my imperfections have knocked me down and made it hard for me to see the good things about myself, but it's helped me see the real me. I now know that I can't change the skin condition I have and I can't change the medical condition I have which has affected my health in, in a variety of different ways. Imperfections are always seen as a negative thing, but sometimes imperfections are what makes a person beautiful, just sometimes it takes a person longer to realise it. Imperfections and beauty. Uh, 
weight, skin. These are the main imperfections of my body that I constantly think about through a cycle of anxiety and overthinking, especially in situations where those are more focused on. Charlie, let's go for a dip. No, I'm right. Yeah, let's get to it. No, I'm good. No, come on, come on. Honestly, I'm good. Go on. You guys go enjoy yourselves. Okay. You're lost. I'll just sit out. I always sit out. Summer's a nightmare for me. Everyone goes off enjoying themselves. And what do I do? Just sit there. Sometimes I go home, sit in the mirror for hours trying to fix myself. But it never works. It just adds to the paranoia. But at least something positive I can gain from this is that I look at people in a better way. When people consider their imperfections as something bad, I consider them as beauty. Small cracks in imperfections and conformity show their true self. I've tried to change. Close my mouth more. Learn to seek the hate from others. Try to be different to who I am, unique. Less awake with my own personality, abstain from my mind. Unique is different in which people are scared of. It's haunted me from a young age to be who I want and what I want. I grew up being told what was considered right or wrong, perfect or not by society. You're too skinny for a guy. Why are you so short? You're not good enough. You won't get far in the future. These are a few things I've been told in my life. Affected my emotion, progressed in depression, and neglected the thought of being me completely. I concealed myself for others but confessed my sins to God. But much like Julia, I see the same. I love imperfections in people and I don't judge people for being unique. Sad to say society has been brainwashed by people's opinions. But in time I've learnt to love myself open my mouth more, and learn to seek the hate from others and neglect them instead of my thoughts. I'm happy, unique, and that's okay. I consider beauty to be the uniqueness of everyone. Uniqueness is what makes us different, and our differences are what make our imperfections perfect. Insecurity should be a thing of the past. No one should grow up knowing what insecurities are and try to find the things that are different from others. When I first moved to the Isle of Wight, I was considered an outcast. The things that make me an outsider are the things that make me unique. They make me, me. I've now learnt to accept myself and to love everything about me. You're too skinny. Why is your colour different? Your hair, it's a distraction. These are things I've heard about myself in the past. <laughs> They're not pointing out my imperfections. They're pointing out what makes me different, what makes me unique. Julie and Margaret Cameron saw people's imperfections and highlighted them in her photos. That's what made them and the photos perfect in their own way. Your, Your body, body is a museum of natural disasters. disasters. Can you grasp how stunning that is? and affection through beauty mean to me. Is there even such a thing as perfect? Beauty is the way that the sun creates amazing colours through the sky. As it sets and rises, the way that a flower blooms. We each see imperfections in ourselves and others differently to that of someone else. And we are all in our own way imperfectly perfect. For example, Someone may believe that their eyes be different colours makes them imperfect, or that their face is too round. However, someone else will see that as their best feature and think that they are the most beautiful person alive. My imperfections, other people will adore. That's what Julia and Margaret Cameron focused on, making people confident and comfortable with their imperfections. And isn't that what as a society we should continue with? what's wrong and what's right. The woman wants to shave her head 
Who are they to decide that that's not right because girls should have long hair? I used to feel imperfect nearly every night. I'd look in the mirror and ask myself, what's wrong with me? Why does no one love me? And I realized I love myself. I love my legs because they're so long and strong. They help me dance and look amazing in heels. I love my face. My smile makes me happy to see it. My eyes present a beautiful world in front of me. I even love my nose, even though it's got a lot of large pores. It looks a lot like my dad's. <laughs> Pointy. I love it because it's something that resembles me to him. Perfection is what you make it. Imperfection is a myth. If you want to shave your eyebrows, if you want to dye your hair luminous colours, Get as many tattoos and piercings as you want, as long as you're happy. Because isn't that what beauty is? That's the perfection.